Hello everyone and welcome to this series Unreal Engine Gameplayability System for Blueprint Programmers. Most of you requested this in my video in which I converted my Blueprint project to C++. So in this series I'm going to be showing you how to use and implement Gameplayability System inside of C++ and then expose that functionality to Blueprints so that it can be easily used inside of your Unreal projects. So there are going to be some prerequisites for the project. First of all, you're going to need Unreal Engine, obviously. And for this series, we're going to be using Unreal Engine 4.26. And the next thing that you need is a C++ compiler and a development environment. It could be Visual Studio's community version or the Express version, or you could use Visual Studio Code as your preferred environment. Uh, so just to give an introduction, what is a gameplay ability system? It's a highly flexible framework for building abilities and attributes. Abilities could range from like projectile abilities, shooting abilities, casting spells, and attributes like health, mana, stamina, that kind of stuff. So this allows you to build actions like active abilities or passive abilities for the characters for any kind of game. You could also implement cooldown function and cost function like cooldown an ability can be casted after x amount of time or a cooldown system like this ability requires y amount of mana to be present on the character before it can be used and activated this system also supports changing the level of the ability and its effect at each level like for example uh, ability might have a cooldown of two seconds at level one and that ability might have a cooldown of 0.5 seconds at level five so this system is already integrated inside of the Gameplay ability system. You can implement abilities as simple or as complex as you want. Like the simplest ability that could be, uh, for example, could be jumping, triple jumping. Those are the simplest kind of abilities that you can implement using this system. Or as they could be as complex like casting a fire spell that causes a stacking damage, or ice spell, that kind of stuff. You could also implement this using this gameplay ability system. So why would want you use gameplay ability system inside of instead of the using the blueprint system? So this is a very robust and powerful skill system and attribute system that's already present inside of gameplay ability system. This is easier to manage and you can easily extend the system to make more and more abilities. And this is crazy efficient to replicate. Uh, like this was used in Paragon. Originally it was originally developed for Paragon and Fortnite also uses it maybe i think and this is useful for creating multiplayer rpgs that require lots of skills and have a lot of classes those popular mobiles that kind of stuff there you also use gameplay system inside of the games this can be used for simpler games as well but uh, i would recommend not to use it if your game's too simple uh, and does not require this uh, sort of complex costing and cooldown system it is useful for those games but if you are not familiar with c++ you should stay away from this system so what are the caveats while choosing the game playability system this is not the easiest system to comprehend and there's very little documentation there was very little documentation now they have improved on the documentation and the base implementation of this system is inside of C++. There is very little support for blueprints. And the base work and the groundwork has to be done inside of C++, which we are going to do inside of this series. And not all of the functionality are exposed to the blueprints. So we'll be creating some helper functions that we are going to expose to blueprints. And we are going to code in C++ and then expose those functions inside of blueprints. And the implementation may vary from game to game because this is a framework, not a hardcore system for like RPG or shooter or that kind of stuff. This is a framework that you can use and customize and extend to your own requirements. So what are we going to cover in this series? We're going to implement the basic gameplay system inside of C++. So you don't know, need to know about C++ because you can just simply copy and paste whatever I'm typing inside of your inside your own project and you'd be good to go. And we create some helper C++ classes for it that are required for the gameplay system, like the attribute system, 
and the attribute set and gameplay ability base class and gameplay effect classes gameplay cues those are all required by the gameplay ability system and we'll create some helper functions that are going to allow us to access the functionality present inside of gameplay ability system that is not exposed to the blueprints but uh, we'll create those functions so that we can call the function inside of blueprint without ever requiring to touch the C++ code again. And we're going to create some sample abilities. Uh, we'll see what kind of abilities we create. Probably like melee or some targeting spell casting abilities. Yeah, this is a very important point. We are not going to cover replication or networking support because I don't know. I don't know how to do replication. That's it. So there are also very good re other resources on the found on the internet that are really helpful for further studying the gameplay ability system in your own time. So there's a, a guest documentation on GitHub. This is a really nice and very comprehensive documentation. It also comes with a sample project and, and this goes over all of the components and the terminologies that are required to understand gameplay ability system. There's a guest content also on GitHub. GitHub that uh, acts like a repository for all the other resources on the internet for the uh, gameplay ability system and there's the official documentation of the gameplay ability system it has improved much much uh, ever since the gameplay ability system like 415 it was found that there exists some system called gameplay ability system and now they have actually started supporting this system and they have official documentation for this there's an Unreal Engine wiki page that also uh, contains the terminologies and components that are required by the gameplay ability system. And there's a live stream, a guided tour of gameplay ability CC. This is like a three hour long uh, live stream and this person uh, clearly explains how each and every component is linked inside of C++ and Blueprint. This is a really helpful stream if you want to get to know gameplay ability system more. Okay, so there's a paid course on Udemy, uh, Introduction to Unreal 4 Ability System. This is a really, really nice course. This guy goes from like from scratch to creating five ability all using the gameplay ability system. I highly recommend watching this course. So this is it for the introduction. Let's move on to actually implementing this ability system inside of our project. Thank you.